This tool is an absolute game changer. This tool saved me literally hundreds of hours of machine time. So this is a lens end mill. It belongs to a family of end mills called circle segment cutters that are great for surfacing and reducing cycle times. So the first eight years of my career, I worked at Schilling Robotics. They were also Titan's biggest customer when he was just starting out. So 70% of our mill cycle times at Schilling was surfacing. When I left there to become a programmer at SAC EDM, we got this job and it was gonna have hundreds of hours of surfacing. So that's what led me to start researching ways to cut down on that cycle time. I came across circle segment cutters and it was exactly what I needed. So what separates this lens end mill from a standard ball end mill is this huge radius across the nose. This is a three quarter inch tool, but the nose radius is the equivalent of a three inch ball end mill. So what that allows you to do is to take way bigger step overs and decrease your cycle time while maintaining that great surface finish. So to prove this, I ran a part out of 6061 aluminum that I used to run at SAC EDM for an aerospace company. I used a standard three quarter inch ball end mill and it took almost three hours. Now I'm gonna run this lens end mill on the same part with bigger step overs, and we're gonna see how much cycle time we can knock off while getting a better surface finish. With that being said, let's get to machining. So before we get to use the lens end mill, I'm gonna walk you through the entire machining process of a part I used to make at SAC EDM. This is the part that led me to first using a lens end mill. The ball end mill we were using was just taking hours to finish. I'm gonna walk you through op one machining, then fixture machining, then we're gonna bolt our part to our fixture, and then it's on to op two where we get to use our lens end mill. For op one, we need to face the part, profile it, put some pockets in, add a bunch of M6 by one threads, and then chamfer everything. I programmed this part in SolidCam, and I was really impressed to see that SolidCam already had lens end mills in their library. A lot of CAM softwares don't have these lens end mills built in, and it makes programming them a lot more difficult. All right, so that's it for OP1 machining. Now we gotta get these vices out and get our fixture onto our Shunk Vero S quick change pallet system. On op two of the fixture, the main thing we're doing is adding two bosses that are gonna locate our part by pinning off from our existing M6 by one threads. Wanted to take a moment to shout out Siemens. Before I started here, I wasn't familiar with their control, but I picked it up really quick and it just goes to show how user-friendly the Siemens control really is. All right guys, we got our OP2 fixture machined. Now we gotta bolt it to our part, pop it back on our Shunk Vero S quick change pallets and we'll be good to go for OP2. All right, <clears throat> got it bolted down, back in the machine. All right, time to get on to OP2 machining. 
So for our final machining operation, we're gonna rough out our part and then finally it's time to call up our lens end mill. Now we get to showcase just how much of a beast this tool really is. guys op two finished machining the part looks really good it looks like our lens tool gave us a great surface finish but we won't know for sure until we take it to travis and have him throw it on the profilometer let's do it so we're going to check the standard ball end mill first Now it's time to check the lens end mill finish. Wow, that's the best finish I've ever got. All right guys, so as you can see, we got a way better finish with the lens end mill. With the ball end mill, I took a 10,000 step over and had to use a slower feed rate to get the finish to this level. It took almost three hours to machine this part. With the lens end mill, I took a 20,000 step over and it only took 50 minutes to machine. So it's obvious the lens end mill is just a way better finishing tool when you've got the right feature to machine. My name's Dre. This was actually my first video and I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.